Hi! Guess where we are? We are at the airport. We're going to be going on a very big adventure, so come and join me. We are going to be safe and we're going to go to California, Colorado, and Mexico. So let's have lots of fun. See you there. I'm going to have to get used to vlogging again and not being scared when people judge me because so far I've gotten tons of looks and I've only filmed two clips. Two! Oh gosh, this is going to be a long adventure. Welcome to Phoenix. Arizona. I have a layover here for about three hours and then I will be heading over to California. I don't know if I'm going to get anything to eat here because it's mostly eggs and potatoes and I don't really like eggs that much but I'm going to try it if I'm really hungry. And then there's no Starbucks here. I don't know where the Starbucks is. I guess it's a Pete's Coffee. I've never had Pete's Coffee so but I got like three hours of sleep on the plane and I had my trusty, my, my, my dog. Okay, I'll check in with you guys again later. Hopefully you can hear me. So I had me a slice of humble pie. That's actually what it was called. I got a breakfast burrito. It was egg, cheese, and potato. I could have gotten bacon or sausage, but I didn't want to get sick while I'm at an airport, just in case. Yay, we're in California. I fell asleep on the plane, so I'm like kind of really out of it. So I'm going to pick up my luggage now and then I'll be seeing family. And I can't wait. Wow, this airport got like upgraded since the last time I've been here. Granted, I haven't traveled since the pandemic, so they had a lot of time to upgrade. California had a very chill day I guess you could say I took a nap I went to Red Robin which used to be one of my favorite restaurants here but not not anymore and then I saw some family and now I'm going to bed but tomorrow's gonna be more more action-packed we're gonna go shopping I'm gonna go to consignment stores which I guess is what a thrift store is here I don't know, but I'll have more energy tomorrow, I promise. It's a, it's a, it's a solemn vow. I found tap shoes. And I don't know if I should try them on or not. Would it be bad if I brought tap shoes home? I don't even know how to tap dance, but I really want to learn. I'm going to try them on. Big fit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get tap shoes. Oh my god. They don't say how much they are though. We have gone to like five thrift stores and I'm still finding stuff. Let me show you around. It's so cute. And this goes to help the animals. We went to some that help cancer patients and hospice patients. Lots of these help people. Look at all the shoes. So when we go to Mexico, we're going to be clubbing a lot. So I've been looking at some dresses. But unfortunately, this one's too big. It's so pretty though, it's a really pretty purple. I'm gonna try this one on next. But 
I think it's the problem with these sorts of straps is they're not adjustable at all. So let me try on the next one. So apparently I lost the weight because I don't know my own size anymore. But isn't this so pretty? It would have been so pretty. Oh well. On to the next store. We're at the mall right now. So we'll see what else we can find here. I'm also looking for a pink Barbie look. Somehow, the Daiso here is better than the one in Hawaii. I don't understand it. Like, they have Hello Kitty stuff, they have Sanrio, Todoroki. Like, they just have so many Disney stuff as well. Like, they're well stocked. The mission has been completed at H&M. And you guys will see that once we're in Mexico. So, stay tuned. Yes, I know that the camera is crooked, but this is the best we can do. So I was in a lot of pain today. So my aunt and I, after we went thrift shopping again, we've been going thrift shopping every single day and I've been finding so many cute clothes. We went to go get a massage and it was splendid, spectacular but they did massage my face a little bit with oil and I'm breaking out right here and here. So I just washed my face and I'm redoing everything now. I got this tank top actually at the thrift store we were at cause I was wearing a long sleeve and you know, you wanna wear something that they can work with. So I had to change in the car. <laughs> And my aunt thought I was going to go change there, and I didn't know that, so I changed in the car. And there was, like, security and everything. So when I went in and I was changed, they're like, oh, we thought you were going to change in here. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that was an option. So now we are going to ice some cupcakes, and then we're going to a birthday party. But it's not my birthday party. My birthday's soon, though, so... I'll have stuff to do later. Okay, um, I won't be filming that because it's family, private, but you can see my face, perhaps. Bye. Birthday girl, birthday girl. Tis my birthday. Well, I'm gonna wear a crown and everything. And I saw this hairstyle on hairstyle on TikTok, so I'm trying that out. And look at because my hair is purple, it gets like this really cool design in it. And I don't know what I'm gonna do for my makeup. Probably just something really simple, some sparkles, eyeliner. You know, it's kind of like a contractual obligation to cry on your birthday. I think I fulfilled that last night. Had a really good cry session. So hopefully I don't need to cry again today because that'll be kind of sad to cry two days on my birthday. We'll see. We'll see if I can stay strong. Stay strong, Ty. You're, you're so cool. You're so strong. You're the coolest. 
I love you. Yay, Ty. <laughs> self-love, self-support. We're doing it all. We're our biggest cheerleaders. Okay, let's see how this looks. I'll show you my makeup in just a second. And I now crown you. Wait. Princess Ty. But look at my makeup. You can't really see it that well. The lighting's not that great. But I'm beautiful. I can't figure out this crown. Should I just have it pressed like that? Further back. Good enough. Isn't it? It is 5 in the morning. I woke up at 3.30, 3.30 a.m. to get to the airport. I'm done in California for now, and I'm going to be heading over to Denver. But first, I have a layover in Las Vegas, so let's see what we find there. Um, I got sick kind of like the last couple of days in California. I Like, my sinuses are just... Ugh. So my allergies are pretty bad right now. So hopefully my allergies like Denver because my allergies do not like here at all. During flight, please stow them in an overhead bin or underneath the seat in front of you. Flight attendants will be passing through the cabin to collect items you would like to discard. in Las Vegas. Jeez Louise, my voice is gone. I'm at Shake Shack and I got breakfast tater tots. Can you hear my voice? It's, oh my goodness. It's because I have so much mucus. But it's really just tater tots. They said they had like a breakfast sauce, but I don't know what that is. But they have like a whole bunch of like slot machines here, which is kind of cool. Ooh, I'm a little bit dizzy, so gotta stay safe. I'm in Denver, and this place is like a, this place is this place is like a freaking maze. I don't. I guess I. I don't even know how to manage this. Oh gosh. Like, this is like five times as big as my airport, so I'm very lost. Oh, I've, I've been like walking miles. Miles. Oh. Say hi, Punty. 
Yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> Monty's gonna be glad he has a new thing. I'm at the gym right now. I got off the plane and now I'm at the gym. party and the after party is done and back in Colorado but the party's not over for me I have a couple of days here and then a couple of days in California before my party is finally over we were screaming and singing out loud a lot at the last club so my voice is a little bit fried and my hair is a little bit dead but let's keep it going hi Mons. oh <laughs> Oh, you're so cute. You're the cutest. Just a big old nose. <laughs> That's all I need is a big old dog. Oh, oh, launching off my stomach. Got surprised with another doggy. Hi, Kodo. Hi. There are two dogs now. This one's more calm. That one's a monster. <laughs> You're so sweet. Hi. This is my first time meeting this one. Oh, Monty, you're not supposed to get on the couch there. Oh, you're gonna be in trouble. I'm surrounded by dogs. I'm here in Las Vegas and I wish I was recording my plane flight over because I was truly baffled. I boarded my flight and I got to my seat and I was like, hold up, someone is sitting in my window seat. And when they saw me staring at them, like they thought I wouldn't notice, they're like, oh, do you mind sitting in the aisle seat? And I was like, yes, I do mind, give me my seat. So they moved over and they had the middle and the aisle seat and there's nothing bad with the aisle seat, but just, and these airlines, you pay for your seat and I had paid for it and selected my seat very early on. So I'm not gonna give up my premium window seat. And they just, they were already sitting in my seats. Like I would just agree to it. I was so frustrated. And I sat next to them the entire flight. Luckily it was only an hour flight, but I could not believe the audacity. I cannot believe it. I have a three hour layover here that I'll be heading over to Sacramento. I don't think I'll be playing any slots, but it's fun to sit here. I'll see y'all later. Can you guess what movie I'm watching? It's now time to just relax for a couple of days before I go home. I'm watching Rio. Rio. I haven't seen this movie in so long, and I woke up at like two o'clock today. <laughs> hey, Bradley. I'm here at a Dollar Tree. We don't have dollar stores where I'm from, unless you count Daiso, but Daiso is a little bit more expensive because they're converting it from yen to dollars. But 
I'm finding a whole lot of face gems, so I'm excited for all the makeup looks I'm going to be able to make. It's very fun here. I don't know, I wish we had dollar stores. Hello, I'm here at the Sacramento airport getting ready to go home to Hawaii and I'm just a little irritated. I, it ha it's been a while since I've flown so airlines have changed a lot since then but like I'm flying American. I usually don't fly American. I usually fly Hawaiian, you know, home girl. <laughs> but I had two bags and one of them was overweight. I know I probably didn't read the website right but it said that the max was 70. So the only way I told them that, they're like, oh, are you first class? And I was like, no. And then she's like, well, it's an extra $100. Uh, why is it always an extra 100? Why can't it be an extra 50? Like, 100's a lot. Just do half of that. So then I had to pay the extra 100 because it wasn't first class, but they didn't even offer me to buy first class. What if I wanted to be first class? And then online, I remembered, you know, if I wanted to upgrade to first class, it was $70. But I think it would be $70 for each leg because I have a layover. So that would have been more than $100. But then at the same time, if I brought three bags, the first bag was 30, the second bag was 40, and I don't know how much the third bag was, but I think it would have still added up to an extra 100. Maybe like saving $20 or something, but what is with these airlines? I I've been traveling for like almost a month now, so I have a lot of stuff because I did a lot of shopping. So I, uh, I'm just frustrated. And then as <laughs> security, I had to get pat down because my, my strings on my pants were metal. So then they had to pat down my groin area. I, I'm very early for my flight, so I have a lot of time to calm down. And the day is just beginning, so it's not like a bad day yet. It is just an interesting start to the day. But if you guys have any other airline recommendations, please let me know because I'm so sick and tired of these like discount airlines adding on all of these additional prices. It's just exhausting, you know? Anyways, I will keep you guys updated. I'm here in LAX and I'm on a little bit of an adventure to find food. I landed in gates 52, then I took a shuttle to gate 5, then I walked over to gates, oh no not gate, terminal, terminal 5, then I walked over to terminal 6, now I'm going over to terminal 7. I don't know, I'm just kind of indecisive of what I want to eat because I know it's going to be expensive, but I don't want to eat something that I've, I can get anywhere. I don't know.